about talking about prep there. could be an out, proud, gay father. gathered here today in the love and friendship of family to celebrate the blending together of two lives as Jason Wayne and Jason Wayne <laughs> <laughs> come before you here today as two. They will leave this place as one, united in marriage. As family and friends, each of you has played some part in bringing them to this moment and in various ways will continue to support and contribute to this relationship. Man, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, my friend. <coughs> Both of you, I'm proud of you with the family too, Jason. Today, you commit yourself to honoring and protecting one another above yourself. So, you come here today of your own this Jason to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners sharing all that life has to offer. And if so, please say, I have. I have. <laughs> Jason Wayne, do you take this Jason Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. If you come here today, of your own free will, to take this Jason Wayne to be your husband, that you may live together as equal partners, sharing all that life has to offer, and if so, please say, I have. Of course I have. <laughs> the night we met, I was completely intimidated. You were handsome, confident, and when I finally got up the nerve to talk to you, I discovered you were warm, funny, and charming. That weekend, I could tell you liked me. I liked you too. I shared with you my baggage, giving you the opportunity to run away. And you didn't. Three years have passed since. As you got to know my good, my bad, and my ugly, you actually drew closer to me, even when I tried to push you away. During this time, you have loved me more fully than anyone ever has. You have made me laugh more than I have ever laughed, cry a little less when life gets heavy, and I've never felt so safe to just be me. Mm. One of my favorite songs describes your love for me and what it means to me. Alan Alanis Morissette's Everything says it all. You see everything, you see every part, you see all my light, and you love my dark. You dig everything of which I'm ashamed. There's not anything to which you can't relate. And you're still here. It took me decades for me to accept who I was and who I am. I learned to hide who I was so well I was actually hidden from myself. I used to live in the darkness of others' expectations. You brought the light of honesty into my life and taught me through your love to love myself more thoroughly. You didn't stop there. When my family disowned me, you shared yours willingly. In return, I cannot wait for my daughters to meet you. I know they will love you just as much as I do. On this day, in front of family and friends, we celebrate being partners of life and love. I don't know what the future holds or how long I will get to cherish you as my husband. But I know all of the adventures and pitfalls we have ahead, we will face them together. I'm looking forward to many more years of high-stakes Scrabble games. <laughs> I will continue to beat you at spontaneous thumb wrestling. <laughs> I eagerly anticipate every morning I get to wake up with you by my side, every lazy afternoon cuddled in your arms for nap time, and the nights falling asleep with my head on your shoulder. I love you, Jason Wayne Blackbird. It took me so many years, so many mistakes, and a lot of heartache to be here in front of you today. I feel as if the first part of my life was dedicated to searching. I know I have found what I was looking for. I want the second half of my life to be shared with you. Together, we make a formidable team. Together, there is no obstacle we can't tackle. Ich bin dein Schatz. Ich liebe dich. So, I had given up finding love before I met you. Uh, there had been so much heartache in my life, so much disappointment, so much struggle. I had just figured it wasn't really hard. I had great friends, great family. I felt I had more than a lot of gay men had. I could find companionship when I needed it, a trusted friend when I needed someone to talk with, and had a wonderful dog to cuddle with every night. All would be fine. <laughs> And then you had to come in and show me just exactly what I was missing. <laughs> and I haven't been able to live a day without you since. Ever since I was a little kid, I had always wondered what it would be like to meet another Jason Lane. <laughs> <laughs> wondered if we would have the same personality, if we would share so much in common, we would be like twins. And in a way we are, We're both smart, that same sense of humor, the same honor streak, the same love of language, and the same tendency to melt when we look into each other's eyes. You ain't seen nothing like me yet. <laughs> but you're beginning to see that you've had my heart this whole time. And to top it off, I'm not only becoming a husband today, I'm also becoming a father. I never thought either would be possible for me, and I have you to think for that. Thank you.
Jason Wynn. Jason Wynn. Thank you, Jason Wayne Blackburn. Thank you, Jason Wayne Blackburn. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to live in truth with you. I promise to live in truth with you. And I give you my hand and my heart. And I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. Pledging you my love. Pledging you my love. And devotion. And devotion. As I join my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. Mm. I, Jason Wayne Blackford. <laughs> I, Jason Wayne Blackford. Take you, Jason Wayne, Wayne Huff. Take you, Jason Wayne Huff. <laughs> to be my husband. <laughs> to be my husband. I promise to live in truth with you. I promise to live in truth with you. And I give you my hand. And I give you my hand. And my heart. And my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. Pledging you my love. Pledging you my love and my devotion and my devotion as I join my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. So I now ask for the rings to be brought forward. Blackford's ring and place it on the ring finger of his left hand and repeat after me. <clears throat> Just as this circle is without end. Just as this circle is without end. My love for you is never ending. My love for you is never ending. With this ring. With this ring. I take you to be my partner. I take you to be my partner. My husband in life. My husband in life. Mr. Blackford. <laughs> If you'll take the ring you have for Mr. Puff, put it on the ring finger, this left hand. Repeat the following words. Just as this circle is without end. Just as this circle is without end. My love for you is never ending. My love for you is never ending. With this ring. With this ring. I take you to be my partner. With this ring, I take you to be my partner. My husband for life. My husband for life. With the sun through the trees, the blue sky agrees. What a beautiful way to start this great life together. Such wonderful weather. Your father will say, while giving his toast, on all my beliefs, I believe and love the most. What a beautiful day, your mom would, will jokingly say, when two men get married, who carries and who gets carried? <laughs> but you know, my son, I know with all my belief that the answer is both. And the bells will ring and the music will play and the people will dance. All is well, all is grand. I'll love you so well, as long as I can. What a beautiful day. Our family and all our, and all our friends agree. We're just on our way. At this celebrant day, the government seal. That on this beautiful day, we have made a beautiful deal. And the minister will say, what a beautiful law. That whatever we believe, we believe in love more. You have committed here today to share the rest of your lives with each other. And now this symbol, excuse me, this relationship will also be symbolized to the pouring of sands, the melding of your individual containers into one represents you, Mr. And all that you were, all that you are, and all that you are. 
and the other represents you, Mr. Rockefeller. All that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As your separate containers of sand, created from the sands of your friends and family, as they're poured into the largest vessel up here, your individual containers of sand will no longer exist solely as separate entities. Their contents will be joined together into one singular container, and just as those grains of sand can never, ever be separated, they can't be put back into the individual containers they came from, so too will your marriage be as inseparable for all of time. Known it from the moment that we stood out my mind for you. Thank you As I bind your hands, I'm going to ask everyone to please stand with me and affirm this marriage by raising a hand with both hands. Just as they are bound to each other, so too may we be bound to them to honor their commitment to each other to help them in their struggle and to celebrate their love as they continue through life's journey. Therefore, in witness before those assembled, I hereby join these two souls, binding them together as one for all eternity. I firmly believe that no one is put on this earth to live alone. Every hand finds another hand to hold. The two of you in this vast universe filled with billions and billions of hearts have found each other and have been drawn together by fate. Love sees neither male nor female. There is no gender law when it comes to love. Today before this assembled body, you have joined yourselves in solemn matrimony. And you strive all of your lives to meet this commitment with the same love, dedication, and devotion that you possess in your hearts. Just for a moment. 
Jason's in as much as you have sealed your vows in the presence of those gathered here and have consented to live together in marriage and in concert with the authority vested to you from the location as well as through the state of California. It gives me absolute great pleasure and I am humbled to now pronounce you as husband and husband, married and partners for life. You may seal your wedding vows. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me once again in welcoming our newlyweds, Jason Wayne and Jason Wayne. <laughs> Too far off. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make purses instead. <laughs> <laughs>
told us they were getting married, it was the greatest thing we thought could ever happen. <laughs> And he said, because you teach me so much, and I'm learning a lot from you. I was like, how can you be learning from me when you're older and more experienced? And basically, um, what Jason and Jason have taught me is that you can learn anything from anyone. But he's taught me how to be a good father, gay, straight, whatever. And now I get to learn from you, both of you.